Today's theme, as I already mentioned, is the false dichotomy. A product produced in joint ventures with the United States Corporation and its subsidies. Everything inside the United States, <laughs> <laughs> including you and me as straw men. <laughs> This week's false dichotomy, which may be different than next week's false dichotomy, is the new rules that were just passed by the FCC to prevent digital discrimination. Yet it provides loopholes for the ISP to not provide net neutrality. And we're going to explain what these things are because these terms are a little important. But this is, this is perfect because this is one of those things that you would think People like Beck and Shapiro and all these other people who try to bash mainstream media would be talking about. Well, they're busy bashing things like Hamas and uh, Candace Owens. Yeah, it just, it just feels like Smash Bros. Like it's a video game. We're just, yeah. just smashing people, ad hominem and stuff. I've always been shocked that, you know, I know Ben Shapiro is someone who has a high IQ and even he fell for it. You know, they they threw, you know, carrot out there in front of him and he, he took it. For someone like... Ben Shapiro, who is, you know, calling out the facts, he's been this whole time pointing out everything that the Democratic and Republican, Republican, you know, liberal parties are doing everything. He's trying to give you a factual, you know, representation of what's going on behind the scenes. But then, you know, they threw this little carrot out there to get them off, get him off their back. And now he took it. And because of, he's taking it, everybody else is looking at what he's looking at now. So he just, Ben Shapiro is turning everybody's attention towards this carrot. Look, I talked about it before. I get it. For most people, it's hard not to defend their people. And he, he, he verbally acknowledges he's an Ashkenazi Jew. So it makes sense. Those are his people. He's defending what he believes is the demise of his people. So I can't fault him for that. But the issue is, is when you become more dogmatic than pragmatic. 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 <laughs> yeah. Because it's not very efficient when you're trying to run a company like Daily Wire, which is supposed to centralize around conservative ideology. And it's not supposed to be this single lane of Israel dominancy because that's a split narrative between conservatives or Democrats or whoever, but he's the face of daily wire, which just naturally propagates. This is what daily wire supports. And then you have people like Candace Owens who's saying, I work at daily wire and I don't, I disagree. And then you got Ben Shapiro bashing it. Anyways, Glenn Beck doing the same thing. Everybody's doing the same thing. Everybody's on this idea. Even the new speaker of the house, Mike Jones, Mike Johnson, is doing the same thing. Uh, Biden is on Ben Shapiro's side yeah, I know. It's, with this. And that's what I thought was even more <laughs> stupid. It's like, insane. yeah, it, it doesn't so this, get any this, better than this. This tells you why. This, this is, that's why I said this is this week's false dichotomy. There are many false dichotomies. And this is just another one of those false dichotomies. There may be a new one next week, too. Yeah. So, this is just another layer of the matrix to point out, be aware when you hear centralized narratives because it's a false dichotomy hiding the real agenda. And that's all that's happening. You hear all this propaganda through mainstream media, through underground media, through whatever, and they're all saying the same nonsense, these narratives. It's hard not to say, well, maybe I'm wrong. So, I can't fault the people who are receiving it because it's propaganda. But that's what we're going to penetrate through all of that. 